Hello and welcome. I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. This is a guide to how attrition and supply work in Crusader Kings 2. So, uh, let's talk about the basics first. Let's just take a look at any old holding. Let's take, say, oh, I don't know, the center of France. I'm playing as the King of France for the purposes of this tutorial. So, let's take a look at how supply works first, and then we're going to talk about how attrition works. So, in Crusader Kings 2, every single county has a base supply of 5. This actually means 5,000. So take the base and multiply it by a thousand to get the base unit of supply. Depending on what type of land you are on, you're going to get a modifier as well. For instance, in the plains you get plus five. In say, um, we can find I think like forest is nearby right here. Forest gets plus three. If we look down here at deserts, they get plus I believe just one. Mountains get plus two etc. So that is the base score. From there, we take that base number and multiply it by a certain number of increases or decreases depending upon whether it's your own land, neutral land, enemy land, a foreign religion's land, coastal, and you can also see some other modifiers in certain mods for the game. Let's talk about some of those base modifiers. So coastal counties are going to have a 50% supply boost no matter what, whether it's your land or an enemy's land. It's always going to have a plus 50% supply modification. If it's in your own realm, meaning that they are somewhere in your realm, anywhere, it does not have to be your actual holding itself. As long as they are a vassal and part of the realm that you're in, you're going to get a modifier of 50% per holding in the county. So if we take a look at that, Paris has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 holdings. 6 times 50% is 300%. That's where that own realm, 300%, comes from. If it is a neutral holding, say, a, f a, ne a neighbor that's of the same religion as you, you're going to have a modifier of 25% per holding. So 1, 2, 3 times 25 is going to give us a neutral holdings plus 75 percent. Now notice that since this is bordering my, whole, my own realm here, we get on top of that a controlled neighbor holding. Okay, So we get an extra 75 percent because it's next to our realm. If we go one county further, we're still going to see the neutral holdings, but not that controlled neighbor holding. With me so far? Good. Next we've got controlled settlements. What this means is that, let's say, um, let's say I'm at war with somebody, um, and we attack them, and in the beginning, you'll notice that we have hostile holdings, minus 50%. I suppose it's probably best to talk about hostile holdings first. One, two, three, four, five holdings, it's minus 10% per hostile holding, gets us to minus 50. As we siege through these, each captured or controlled settlement that we have is going to revert from a negative 10 to a positive 25, as if it was a neutral holding. Not quite as good as a plus 50 from being in our realm, but it's about neutral, because it's no longer a hostile settlement. There's also a minus 25% modifier for hostile religions. Hostile religions are going to be the ones that are specifically flagged as a hostile religion. So, from there, um, that is going to determine the total number. So let's take, for example, our capital. We've got 5 as the base, plus 5 because we're in planes, multiplied by 300%. You take 5 plus 5 is 10. Those next numbers are additive. You add all of the pluses and minuses together before multiplying them against the base. So 10 times 310%, or 10 times 4.1, is going to equal 41,000. That's how we get to the supply limit. Just as another example, we'll go down here. 5.6. So we take 5 plus 2 equals 7, and then multiply that by 10 minus 30, which is negative 20. So 7 times 80% is going to equal 5,600. Does that make sense? Good, good. So that's how you determine supply. Now, next up, we need to talk about actual attrition. So what happens if you exceed that number? Well, there are three numbers that you need to be aware of. There is three ranges. You are either beneath the supply limit, you are above the supply limit, but less than 50% over the supply limit, you are more than 1.5 times the supply limit, but less than 2 times the supply limit, 
and then actually, I apologize, there's a fourth limit, and then you are more than two times the supply limit. Okay? Sorry if that was confusing. So I guess there's, there's actually four ranges to it. So, if you're beneath the supply limit, nothing happens. If you're over the supply limit, but less than 50% more than the supply limit, you have a base troop loss of 5%. Depending on the type of terrain that you're in, that base attrition rate of 5% is going to be increased. So, mountains plus 10%. If we were in, say, farmlands, there is no increase. I'm just going to read off the modifiers. So, in Arctic land, there's an increase of 10%. Farmlands, 0%. Forest, 2.5%. Hills, 2.5%. Woods, 0%. Mountain, 10%. Steppe, 0%. Plains, 0%. Jungle, 5%. Marsh, 5%. Desert, 10%. And coastal desert, 5%. So let's take a look at how we would actually calculate the an example of these, the attrition rate. So we've got some troops here in Hordaland and we have too many. There are 604 troops with a supply limit of only 455. Since we're within that first range, we're less than 50% over the supply limit, we're gonna have a default um, attrition rate per month that's just half of the listed attrition in the, in the province, half of the maximum. So we've got, if you can follow me like right here where those numbers are, 10% plus 5% is 15. Now, the maximum gets reduced by a tenth of a percent per one marshal score of the center flank's leader. So if I move this bishop over here, it's going to automatically put somebody else in charge. And we're going to see that that changes to 0.9% up from 0.1. If we put a really good marshal in charge, like say 21, it's going to go from minus 0.9 to minus 2.1. But let's just work through the math with a very, very poor commander. Go down here to say someone who's at zero. So we have no modifier at all. So 10% plus 5% equals 15. You take the total number of troops in the county, 604. You multiply that by 0.15, 15%. That means that 90.6 men will die. But because we're less than 50% over the supply limit, that gets multiplied by half. So we're going to lose 45.3 men per month. If you divide 45.3 by the total of men in the county, 604, you end up at exactly 7.5% attrition per month. That's how that number gets calculated. But if we were more than 50% over the supply limit, the multiplier is not reduced by half. Instead, you're going to lose exactly 15% of your men per month. If we had a, like a huge number of men over the limit, if you're more than double the supply limit, then you lose twice the listed maximum monthly attrition. So let's give an example of that. Let's send some troops up here. Okay, so now we're up here in pagan lands. We actually don't need to go all the way to the mountains. If we take a look at this, we see that the supply limit is 600 men. The maximum, the penalty here is f the base is 5%. But how come we're losing 10? It doesn't make sense, right? Well. Again, you have to factor in the fact that we're more than double the supply limit. So the maximum monthly attrition is a default base of 5, but then, since we're over 200% of the limit, it gets multiplied by 2. So we're going to lose 10% of our men per month. Now, if I add in a very good marshal, though, someone in the center, he's going to reduce the maximum monthly attrition by 2.1, which takes it down to 2.9, which gets multiplied by 2, meaning we go up to 5.8 in this situation. So, long story short, without having to worry about figuring the math out, the way you should play, the way you should avoid attrition, is if you're going to go and attack somebody, just check your supply limit. Ideally, you want to be underneath the supply limit, but it's okay to go a little bit over. Just try the best you can to not exceed it by over 50%. So, for instance, if I see this county, 13 plus an extra 50% on top is going to be about, what, 24,500, somewhere around there. Just try not to have that many men over it, and certainly try not to go over double. If you put 40,000 men on this county, then you're going to lose basically, um, well, since this is a hostile holding, and it is, what train type was it? 
it is planes. So in this case, planes isn't that bad. It's got a base attrition of 5%. You're going to lose 10% of your men per month. It's still bearable, but the idea is try to stay below the, below the supply limits. And um, if you are going to go into very, very low supply areas or areas where you are going to suffer attrition in general, then make sure you have the best possible commander leading the center flank. That's going to reduce the maximum monthly attrition modifier by quite a bit. Notice how we took this guy, that just by putting a good commander in charge here, we took the attrition from 10% down to 5.8. If we change it to a bad guy again, watch right here, 5.8 is going to jump right back up to 10. So it's only 10% per month. I mean, it's pretty common you're going to lose men to siege events at that rate. So attrition's bad, but try not to... Uh, Try not to worry about it too much. Just stay within the limit. There's a lot of math involved with it, but it's not that complicated, really. Also, in vanilla CK2, you can just be aware that there are no... There's no attrition at sea. You can have infinity men in boats, which is completely unrealistic, but that's just how the game works for now. So, hopefully this is helpful to you. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave comments down below. Appreciate you watching, and I look forward to seeing you again in another video. See you soon.